Hi, I'm John Barber, Editor-in-Chief at IDW Publishing, and welcome to Barber's Shop. When things get rough, do you ever gaze up at the night sky and wish you were out there? Or do you wonder if the grandeur and majesty of space could possibly live up to our expectations? I mean, things have a tendency to go wrong on Earth. They probably do everywhere else, too, you know what I mean? The podcast Voyage to the Stars asks those questions. Sort of. If you haven't heard it yet, it's a really funny improv podcast that launched last year. A science fiction comedy starring Colton Dunn, Felicia Day, Janet Varney, Kirsten Vangsness, and Steve Berg as a 23rd century misfit crew of space people who find themselves on the wrong side of a wormhole. Actually, one of them's an AI. The podcast had two and a half million downloads its first year and 100,000 viewers on Twitch, all of whom are going to get mad at me for saying this, but in preemptive self-defense, I have an 18-month-old, which means he was born about two weeks before the podcast debuted. So here's my shame. Reading IDW's new comic book, Voyage to the Stars, was my entry point into the Voyage to the Stars universe. And you know what? I loved it. Because I grew up watching, reading, and listening to science fiction comedy, and it really hit home for me when I saw and heard what I was missing. It felt like coming home. It's been a treat working on the series. The Voyage to the Stars team has that thing where they're really excited to do a comic book, to make it a meaningful extension of the worlds they're creating, and even better, they're excited to do a really good comic book. What I mean is, because Voyage to the Stars is, like I said, mostly improvised, well, it's hard to take that and transform it into a comic book, getting across the sense of antic energy and fun and the anything-can-happen vibe of improv. It's just hard to do in comics. I mean, comics can do anything, I firmly believe that, but spontaneity is a hard feeling to capture. But we had a head start and a secret weapon. The head start was Voyage to the Stars creator Ryan Koppel on hand cooking up the story. I mean, who knows the series better than him? And he was willing, more than willing, excited to do a story here that works to the strengths of the characters and world he and the cast build every week, but that's also especially suited to the medium of comics and graphic novels. And that's where our secret weapon comes in. I mean, not so secret, his name's on the cover. But Ryan was joined by the terrific James Asmus, who's currently writing stories in the best-selling My Little Pony Transformers comic, and he wrote that great Bumblebee graphic novel. But you may know him best for his run on Quantum and Woody and all the X-Men stuff he's done. But he's our secret weapon because in addition to being a great comics writer, James has an extensive background in improv and sketch comedy, which I hazard to say came in handy here. Connie Da Donna provides the art, and she does an incredible job making the comedy play out naturally with perfect timing. And she makes her characters act on the page with such subtlety and dynamism it'll only take a couple pages before you forget you're used to only hearing the crew. Plus, she does a really great job in capturing that scope and grandeur of space I was talking about, a sense aided and abetted by Reggie Graham's stunning colors. And World Design's Justin Birch lettered the comic, and it was all overseen by Chase Marotz and Joe LaFabi, with some help in the beginning from David Hedgecock. Now, I mentioned the crew wound up being on the wrong side of a wormhole, and in the course of the ongoing podcast, it took them a long while to make their way back to Earth. Unfortunately, when they got home, well, it turns out I was right in the beginning of this video because things went wrong. A galactic evil called Nothing destroyed the planet, and now the crew, the last survivors of Earth, have to figure out how to protect the rest of the universe. And that's where the comic starts up, when they find a galactic hero called Exemplar, who's ready, willing, and able to stop the Nothing. Spoiler alert, things go wrong again. So check our web store or your local comic shop and grab a copy of Voyage to the Stars number one. Do it quick, I think they're going to go fast. And as always, let's use this time to connect and keep the IDW community active. If you have any questions, put them in the comments below, and I'll answer what I can. That's all for this week. Remember, you can keep up with IDW on social media, and check back here every week for news and updates. Thanks for watching.